welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video I have come up with another problem on pulleys and in the diagram we can see that there is pulley and two blocks <coughs> of masses M1 and M2 are attached to this pulley with a rope right and both of these blocks are resting on inclined planes the plane of M1 is inclined at an angle of phi and the plane of the second block with mass M2 is inclined at an angle of theta right and we have assumed the surfaces to be frictionless completely there is no friction right and it has been given that M2 is greater than M1 means this block is heavier than this one and theta is greater than phi means this plane is more steeper than this one okay <clears throat> now what we have to find uh, is first the acceleration with which the system will move downwards and the motion will be down the here and in the upward direction in this plane and the second one is to find the tension in the rope in this case the tension is acting in this direction and in this plane it's acting in this direction so let's begin our solution we start by drawing the free body diagrams of both the blocks and I have done that here so we are going to first draw the free body diagram of the second block this one which is uh, resting on the plane with angle theta right so this angle is theta and this is the block with mass m2 and uh, the two forces acting on this block are m2g its weight and the tension acting upwards along the plane <coughs> right so as we have done in the previous video we are going to resolve this weight into two components and which are this will be m2g cos theta and this is going to be m2g sin theta right now we are going to take this axis along the plane and going and, and we are going to find a equation for that the next the net force is acting downwards f so f is going to be equal to m2g sin theta minus t along this axis along the plane right <clears throat> this m, this f is equal to m2a is equal to m2g sin theta minus t right this is our first equation now in this equation we can see that there are two unknowns uh, which are the first is a and second is t so we will require a second equation as well and that equation we will get from the free body diagram of the first block which is done here the angle of inclination is phi and two forces are acting on it the first one is the tension up, uh, up the plane and the second one is its weight which is m1g right so uh, uh, like the second block we are going to resolve its components as well m1g cos phi and m1g sin phi right and the net force is acting upwards so taking this axis in consideration which is along the plane we write the equation the net force F is equal to T minus M1G sine of phi and F is equal to M1A gives us M1A equals T minus M1G sine of phi and this is our second equation now in this equation as well we can see those two variables which we came across in the first one now we are going to solve these two equations to find the values of respect and uh, the unknowns so we are first of all going to eliminate the t between those two equations so from the first equation we get t to be m2g sin theta minus m2a and from the second one we get t equals m1a plus m1g sin of phi that's good now uh, we are going to equate these two so we get m2g sine of theta minus m2a is equal to m1a plus m1g sine 5 5 
and uh, simplifi on simplification uh, it gives us a m1 plus m2 is equal to m2g sin theta minus m1g sin phi please notice that these are two different angles that is why i am not taking the g sin theta outside the brackets <coughs> right and that gives us acceleration to be m2g sin theta i can take g outside m2 sin theta minus m1 sin phi divided by m1 plus m2 and whole multiplied by g and this is the required value of the acceleration with which the system will move now we are going to find the tension as well and for that we will substitute this value in either of these two equations and i am going to substitute the, it in the first one right so the tension equals i'm just wait so that gives tension to be equal to m2 g sin of theta minus m2 a we substitute the value of a from here we get g m m2 sin theta minus m1 sin phi divided by m1 plus m2 right and uh, we cross multiply m1 m2 g sin theta plus m2 square g sin theta minus opening the brackets m2 square g sin theta plus m1 m2 g sin of phi and this whole is divided by m1 plus m2 these two terms cancel out and that gives us tension to be g uh, sorry m1 m2 g sin theta minus sin of phi divided by m1 plus m2 and this is the required value of the tension and so this uh, problem is solved and uh, i hope that this will be helpful to you thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the channel thanks